Moderna will be testing its vaccine on children, and Children's Hospital here in Philadelphia will be enrolling patients for the study called Kid Cove. Also from CHOP, new research on a rare but severe reaction to COVID-19 in some children. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here now with the details. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Jessica. New Jersey was hit early and hard by this syndrome in children, and now the CDC says cases are increasing around the country. This new research from CHOP is leading to better treatments for children who have this severe reaction to COVID-19. Lord Grant, a nurse and COVID-19 survivor, thought she'd seen the worst of the virus until daycare texted her this photo of her five-month-old daughter, Madeline. Her hands and feet were blue. It was absolutely terrifying. First, my first instinct as a mother was what's going on. And my second instinct as a nurse is she's not getting enough oxygen. And my husband and I were just sitting there sobbing um, because we just didn't know if she was going to make it or not. Madeline had recently recovered from COVID-19, but then developed a rare complication called multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, or MIS-C. A lot of the body's reaction to the previous infection causes it to ramp up and cause lots of inflammation and kind of get stuck. New research from Children's Hospital of Philadelphia on MIS-C indicates patients have a supercharged immune response. The uh, um, immune activation that we see in children can actually look very much like the immune activation we see in some of the sickest adults. Um, but what's fascinating is that these children are, are not adults. Their syndrome is actually very different than severe adult COVID-19. Dr. Vela says the finding will help doctors further improve treatments for children and adults. Madeline was hospitalized for 10 days, but the treatments, including steroids to reduce inflammation, eventually worked. I feel like we were really lucky in that sense that Maddie didn't have to be put on a ventilator. And that's why it's super important to be able to recognize these symptoms in kids. Now, children who have prolonged flu-like symptoms should see a doctor. Experts say COVID-19 is generally less severe in most children, but till, until a pediatric vaccine is approved, they are advising extra precautions for children, including wearing masks. Yuki? Stephanie, thank you for that.